Hey folks, welcome back. It's Tara as usual and finally I'm getting around to actually sitting down and filming this very late but always as promised hair tutorial for you guys because a few weeks ago, I think around my birthday, I did my really quick fast version of my 1940s wave and I'm going to attempt to recreate it for you guys today and show you how I do it. I usually prefer doing my 1940s hairstyles the traditional pin curl sort of sleep overnight way but most people ain't got time for that so I'm going to show you a really quick way to do it. I've just run, I'm just out of the shower so my hair is pretty frizzy but uh, I've just run the straighteners through it really quick, nothing too intense and all you really need is some clips you can use pin curl clips that you can get from Boots, those are metal ones, or you can use just whatever sort of handy. All you need is something that will sort of hold the curl in place for 20 minutes or so. So I've just got these plain um, bobby pin clip things. You'll also need some kind of a curling wand or tongue, um, preferably something that's quite narrow. I've got one that sort of goes from narrow to wide, so I'm only going to be using the narrower side of it, but you can get ones that are just narrow all the way down. That's best for this sort of tutorial. You need to get a tight enough curl going, not like a ringlet, but nearly a ringlet for this to work. And let's just get straight into it. So I've already partition pleased my hair into a kind of a side crease, which obviously works best because you want it to sort of flow on one side. So whatever kind of parting you prefer the best. Basically to get that really defined kind of 1940s wave that looks really authentic, we need to create like a lot of frizz and a, a, a good curl and the way we do that is to curl the curls in alternate directions and there's so many different patterns you can follow depending what kind of style you want to use. So following kind of my part it doesn't have to be exact I'm going to kind of do rows like this way as if I was going to do corn rows or something um, of curls. So this kind of first strip here you can take about one inch pieces depending on your hair thickness but basically I'm going to take like a chunk this was start off my first row back. I'm going to do all the curls in this row in one direction, which just means when I have the wand, I'll be going in the same direction, so either anti-clockwise or clockwise, um, for the whole row. I'm not going to change. So then this will start off on my second row, which would be going back as well, but this time the curls will be going in the opposite alternating direction around the wand that they were going in the previous one. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, just once it's the opposite direction as the first row. And we're going to do this all the way down so it's going to be and um, let's say clockwise curls anti-clockwise curls clockwise curls anti-clockwise curls and we're going to do that all the way around the side of our head because my hair is quite thick I'm not going to take my curls too far back if you've got thinner hair you want to create that volume then you might have to do more curls but I'm really only going to maybe do about two about two curls so I'm going to take about a one inch section I'm going to get my wand using the narrow side of it and going quite close to the scalp, you know, without burning yourself. I'm going to wrap uh, towards the back of my head. So I don't know what direction that is, but I'm just going to call it towards the back of my head curl. Um, and just make sure that's nice and tight. You only need to hold it for a few seconds. So you just need to make sure you scoop up that curl and keep it held in place with a clip. So just kind of run a clip in the center of it without flattening the curl. You just want to get like the inside curve, like slip a little pin in there, something that will just hold it in place while you do the rest of your head. Same thing, about an inch of hair, using the narrower side of the wand, wrapping that around. Make sure we get the ends in this time, because I made a bit of a buzz of the first one. And wrap. just grab that curl as soon as it comes off and clip it in place straight away. If you could imagine you're wearing rollers, that's sort of how you want to pin your hair, just so that the curls kind of stay back off your face. And don't worry about these flyaways, they don't need to be perfect. I think two curls is enough for me, so I'm going to move on to my next row. This is where it gets a little bit difficult because it's a bit closer to the other curl. So now we're starting our second row. This time instead of curling away, we're gonna to curl towards the front of the face. And just using the same technique, but just in a different direction. And wait a few seconds. And grabbing the curl again, securing it with a clip. Slid into the center just to hold the hair like that.
you don't quite grab one before it comes off the wand, all you need to do is grab the end of the curl and start wrapping your curl around in the same direction and then just clip it in place with the other ones. Now I'm going to change up the pattern on the other side of my head which is kind of what I'm referring to in the way that you can do this so many different ways and you'll get a different result. This time instead of going in alternating directions I'm going to go all in the same direction and I'm only going to go back about two curls for each row again so this time I'm just going to make all of them away from my face so that the curls kind of I don't know fall off my face and don't fall in front of my face as much as we want the other side to. further back like I said if you need to if your hair is a little bit thinner so all I need to do now is let it cool down and leave it on my head for maybe I don't know 10 15 20 minutes the longer the better but I mean you could take it out within five or ten minutes and go ahead the whole curling process only took me about 10 minutes I would say so now while I'm waiting what I'm going to do is very very lightly curl the rest of my hair so that when we take out all those other curls it will have something to sort of blend into and obviously you won't have the rest of your hair straight so I'm just going to quickly without any sort of kind of care or anything like that just quickly curl my hair in any old which way so that's it that's all the curls in my head done it'll just give something for the rest of it to flow into so it won't look so stark and yeah so I'm going to leave that for about five or ten minutes to make sure it's all cooled down I'd probably take it out now if I wanted to but I want it to last and um, the longer you leave it set and cool down the longer amount of days it is going to last on your hair so I'm going to go grab myself a nice big can of hairspray I will see you guys in a moment I'm, s I'm so done with being an 80s mom so let's take this out crazy ass Beyonce, Solange nose, curls like this. Now you could just leave it like this and just be fierce but we're going to brush it all out. Best brush to use is a nice big paddle brush, something with a lot of bristles and here's the fun part, brushing it out. So like I said it does go from bad to worse to bad but basically we want to create a frizz so that... <laughs> Do you want to come in? Will I open it? Basically we want to create enough frizz so that we get that wave and hopefully it will work so basically the best way to do it is just go for it brush it all out and you can see we're going to get a lot of bouncy 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 frizz which i think looks beautiful and editorial but anyway to calm it down we're going to use the back of our hand grab under the hair and literally just curl around our hair we want to mesh all those curls into one big curl then you just go ham on the other side as well Now it does go very bouncy but the more you brush it out the more it falls out and eventually we'll get a very kind of defined wave because we've done those alternating curls. So basically we just want to keep brushing it till it turns and curls around the hand and we can sort of tame it from there. Whoa that's fun. Okay so you just so like I said, it does go really crazy, but you just need to stick with it and eventually it will all fall out. You just keep at the same technique, brushing it around the hand and eventually adding all that hair into the same twist. It's already getting calmer, it's still not quite there yet, but it is calmer. Keep working on the other side. leave that side again for a little while as you can see our little 40s thing is already starting but it's still a little bit mental so we're just going to keep working on it so brushing it out 
brushing it, keep brushing it back and turning it into that one curl. Keep adding to it. And eventually you'll get it to all set together. I'm just grabbing a little piece of hair each time I brush, I'm making sure I brush it until it turns into one defined wave rather than lots of separate curls. I want my root to sort of slick back a little bit and this will sort of also hold the curl a little bit more out of your face. I'm just going to pop a clip in it to hold it back while I spray to death with hairspray. I'm going to spray the death out of this front section here because we want this to sit back. spray the rest of it. It will be bouncy but trust me it will fall out pretty quickly so if you want it to last get a bit of hairspray in there. It also holds the style because if you move this hairstyle at all or try and fix a bit of it it will you will need to brush it all out again and redo the sort of setting method with the brush and bringing it back so it is really important that once you're kind of set on it you leave it alone play about with your fingers and I don't know adjust it to your liking. You guys get the gist it comes out sort of different every time you do it so it's hard to recreate the exact same look but you definitely get the vibe as I'm sure you can see and here and this will stay in for like a few days obviously it will get weaker looking every day but the whole like effect of it still stays yeah that was my tutorial guys i really hope you enjoyed it um it's sort of a hairstyle that's sort of dying out but i think it's my favorite hairstyle ever and i hope you enjoy it and give it a go and i don't know just rock something different on your next night out i'll see you all in my next video guys take care peace